Hi, welcome, and today we're going to be showing you a copycat recipe of chow mein. What you'll need for this recipe is canola or vegetable oil, it doesn't really matter, either one, whichever one you prefer. Soy sauce, this is just the store brand soy sauce. Some brown sugar, a cabbage, half a cabbage probably, some celery stalks, and a good sized onion. And then the noodles I'm going to be using are these chow mein. You could also use the yakisoba uh, noodles, but these just have a better thickness. And you're going to need two packages of those. And then a pan to saute in. So the first thing we're going to do is unwrap the chow mein. And in case you didn't, wanted to see it, it's by the brand Nissin. These are about a dollar and some change. So they're not very expensive and this meal is actually pretty cheap. And then it comes with the vegetables like um, ramen noodles. It's the same brand. The yakisoba is. This is a different brand. And this is a sauce that comes with it. We don't need those. You can throw those away. And that is all. Now after uh, taking the packaging off and throwing that away, all we're going to do is just rinse this off. And then just leave the noodles in there to soak. Put enough water in there to cover it up it will float but just let it soak. okay so I have the noodles in the water and the reason I want them soaking is so that they're thick and thawed out so then by the time we put them on the pan which is on medium heat now they'll be ready and thick to go unless you're just gonna get frail burnt noodles so what I'm gonna get is the vegetable or canola oil I'm actually using canola and putting some on the pan I'm gonna be a little generous because I do have a big pan okay and meanwhile, that's heating up and these are soaking. We're going to start on the vegetables. I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the vegetables. This is a cabbage. So far, I think I overestimated. I'm only going to use one fourth of a whole cabbage. I'm just slicing this. Cut. cut the onions in nice long strips like these. And this is, or the cabbage, sorry. And uh, the more cabbage, the more you will have. The noodles only count for so much of the meal, but you really don't need that much noodles. So depending on how much people you will feed, uh, that's how much cabbage you want to cut. So I cut the cabbage in nice long strips like these. That way it accompanies the size of the noodles, and that's how Panda Express does it. Um, the onion, I'm only going to use half of it, and I'm going to cut it in little quarters like this. Okay, so now these noodles have been soaking for a while, and as you can see, they're a little thicker, and they kind of just fall apart by themselves. As they just need a little push. You can just leave these to soak again, and I'm just going to flip this one over and kind of um, mush it together so it kind of falls apart, and just leave them for a while left. Okay, before I cut the celery, I'm just going to start to put the cabbage in the pot, in the pan. And the cabbage takes a little longer than most of the vegetables to saute. And so we're just going to leave it here for a little while. And we will know when to add the noodles when the cabbage is clear. Okay, now I'm going to cut the celery stalks. I'm just going to cut them in little pieces. I have two, one by one, next to each other. Okay, so I have drained the noodles. Now there's no water. Now they are nice and thick, both little uh, plates of these. Now I've also already finished cutting the onion and the celery. They're both in this bowl. I have the cabbage in the pot, but they're still not ready. They are not clear. So I'm going to wait and make the sauce meanwhile. So what I'm taking is the soy sauce, and I'm just going to eyeball how much I'm going to need. Um, you know if you've added enough sauce to your noodles once they are a nice caramelized brown color. Now I'm going to add brown sugar. And this counteracts the bitterness of the um, soy sauce. I do not have exact measurements, but I'd say for every two tablespoons of um, soy sauce, you add one of brown sugar. Now I'm going to mix these two together. And it shouldn't really change the consistency too much or the color, but you just want to make sure it's nice and mixed together. Okay, so the cabbage is practically ready now. 
as you can see. And now I'm going to add the noodles. And you just add those right into the pan. Okay, so the noodles and the cabbage have been mixed in pretty well. I've let them sit for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to add the remainder of the vegetables. This is the onion and the celery going in. We're just going to incorporate those into the mix. Okay, now the noodles and the vegetables are ready. Now I'm going to add the sauce and mix it all in. Make sure to get all of it. And make sure to mix it through the, all the noodles. Stop moving. <laughs> 